so uh, good morning students and uh, in the last class we were studying exponents and power we have done till exercise 12.1 question number 2 so let me revise that uh, exercise 12.1 question number 2 once more question number 2 is simplify and express the result in power notation with positive exponents okay so let me do one more question from that which is uh, from the second the fifth one which is 2 power minus 3 multiplied by minus 7 power minus 3 so see here we want we have to simplify this and we want the result in a positive exponent so here the exponents are in negative form so we have to make that into positive So how to do that? Two power minus three can minus three can be written as one by two power three multiplied by seven minus seven power minus three can be written as one by minus seven power three. See here, one into one is one. multiplied by b power x which means that if the base is different and the power is same then we can write it as as a b power x we can write it as as a b power x so here see the base is different the power is same so 2 into minus 7 is 14 minus 14 power 3 so the answer is 1 by minus 14 power 3 see here the power is in positive exponents now is in positive form so this is what is the and this is the answer that we require okay so now let's move on to 12.1 ex uh, exercise 12.1 question number 3 find the value of uh, let me do the first one first 3 power 0 plus 4 power minus 1 into 2 power 2. So in this question, see, we have to solve this part first. We have to solve the uh, values which is in the bracket first, and then we have to multiply whatever result we will get with 2 power 2. Okay, so let's start from here. 3 power 0 is 1. 4 power 0 is 1 any number to the power 0 is always equal to 1 so 3 power 0 is 1 plus 4 power minus 3 minus 1 is 1 by 4 multiplied by 2 power 2 so 2 power 2 is 4 see here 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 we have to take LCM. Here we have to take LCM. When we take LCM, we will get four. Then we have to see in this one four goes in. Uh, in if we multiply one with four, we are going to get four. Yes, we are going to get four. So we have to check by which number we have to multiply to get this LCM. So uh, one has to be multiplied with four to get four. So four, that four has to be multiplied with the numerator. So what we are doing here, we have to check. First, we have to start with the denominator. We have to check this LCM, which is four, uh, goes with which multiplication to get four. So that is one has to be multiplied with four to get four. So that four has to be multiplied with the numerator. So here we will get four plus. One into four. So this four and this four will become null, and we will have four plus one, which is five. So the final answer is five. Now this taking LCM sometimes becomes a little complex. So always let me explain this one more time. 
first take the lcm 1 and 4 the lcm is always going to be 4 so lcm is 4 then look at the denominator again see if i just write here 1 remember denominator is always 1 so in the 1 you have to see 1 has to be multiplied with which number to get 4 1 has to be multiplied with 4 to get 4 so that 4 has to be multiplied with the numerator of that 1 which is 4 here we get 1 into 4 plus here see the denominator is 4 the LCM is 4 then keep the numerator as it is no change will happen in the numerator multiplied with 4 so finally we will get here 4, 4 into 1 4 plus 1 5 by 4 into 4 this will become null and we will get 5 so the final answer is 5 ok now let me do the second one into 4 power minus 1 divided by 2 power minus 2 so students see here we have to solve the part which is in the bracket first then we have to divide the answer with 2 power minus 2 so let us start from here 2 power minus 1 is 1 by 2 multiplied by 4 power minus 1 is 1 by 4 take the reciprocal whenever the power is in negative exponents take the reciprocal ok now if we solve this we will get 1 by 8 we will get 1 by 8 so 1 by 8 divided by 2 power minus 2 ok now 2 power minus 2 is what 2 power minus 2 is 1 by 2 power minus 2 is 1 by 2 power 2 ok now remember one thing whenever whenever we have whenever we have division ok if we take reciprocal of the number which with which we are dividing it will become multiplication let me show it to you now see here the answer was here 1 by 8 1 by 8 divided by 1 by 2 power 2 yes it is division here I am making it multiplication but when I have to make division to multiplication remember it the which, whichever number we are dividing it will become we have to take the reciprocal of that number so when we take reciprocal of 1 by 2 power 2 it will become 2 power this 2 power 2 will go to the numerator now see here it was division now it has become multiplication but one small change happened again uh, the denominator uh, went to the numerator and numerator went to the denominator again we have to take reciprocal so here we will get 1 by 8 into 2 power 2 so 1 by 8 into 2 power 2 which is 4 so finally 4 and 8 will can be divided with 2 and we get with divided can be divided with 4 we will get 1 here we will get 2 the final answer is 1 by 2 ok uh, remember this one property clearly whenever we have to make division to multiplication take the reciprocal ok also whenever the power is in negative we have to take the reciprocal we have to take the reciprocal to make it into positive exponents now look at the third one which is 1 by 2 power minus 2 plus 1 by 3 power minus 2 plus 1 by 4 power minus 2 here we will get here we know what we have to do we have to take the reciprocal this will become 2 power 
2 this will become 3 power 2 this will become 4 power 2 so 2 power 2 is 4 3 power 2 is 9 4 power 2 is 16 so the addition will get uh, 29 so the final answer is 29 this was very easy now look at the question, uh, fifth one which is bracket inside one more bracket and minus 2 by 3 power minus 2 and this bracket is closed and then power 2 ok so the, how to solve this one first let's start with this bracket ok here minus 2 by 3 to the power minus 2 we give minus 3 by 2 take the reciprocal we will get minus we will get minus 3 by 2 power 2 then to the power again 2 so here minus 3 by 2 remember this one property a to the power x to the power y is equal to a to the power x into y so this two power will get multiplied so here when you multiply you will get to the power 4 the final answer is minus 3 to the power 4 divided by 2 to the power 4 so we saw let we saw we will get 3 into 3 9 9 9 81 we will get 81 divided by uh, 2 power 4 which is 2 to 4 4 to 8 8 2 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 16 so the answer is 81 by 16 Okay, now uh, let's start with the fifth one, the fifth question. The fifth question is, let me read out, find the value of m for which 5 power m divided with 5 power minus 3 is equal to 5 power 5 find the value of m we have to find the value of m we have to find the value of m ok for which 5 power m divided with 5 power minus 3 is equal to 5 power 5 ok so what we are going to do is Let us solve this part. Um, division with comments. Five power n divided by five power minus three is equal to five power five. Okay. See, we have to find the value of n. So what we are, I am going to do is, I am going to bring. 5 power minus 3 which is in the division to this side ok so uh, whatever is in the division when we move it uh, to the uh, out to the right hand side of the equal, equal sign it will become from the division it will become multiplication so 5 power n we are going to keep it here 5 power minus 5 is going to stay there 5 power minus 3 from the uh, division it will if we move it to here it will become multiplication so this will become 5 power minus 3. Here we have to solve it. See the base is same so we just have to add the power because here base is 5, here base is 5 and here power is different so we just have to add the power. So when we add the power 5 and minus 3 becomes 5 power 2. Here it is 5 power m. So remember let's say we have a value here x. Here we have another value which is x. Here it's uh, m here it is 
3. Then remember m is always equal to 3. As the base is same, the power up will be also be same. So here we are getting 5 power m is equal to 5 power 2 and the value of m will be equal to 2. Okay, now let's move on to uh, question number 6. So in this question remember whatever is in the division you have to bring it to the right hand side when you do that remember if, uh, the, uh, this uh, which is in division once we move it to the right hand side will become multiplication okay if you bring something from the multiplication to this side it will become division okay then uh, use the identity which is x power uh, x power a into x power b you know we just have to add the power so here also i just added the power but when i did that remember this 3 has a minus also so when we bring to addition this will become 5 minus 3 okay so it will become 5 power 2 and uh, because the base here and here it is same the power will also be power has to be equal because the uh, because the sign here is equal to and the base here is same so the power has to be equal so m is equal to 2 so that is our final answer let me solve now the question number 6 which is to evaluate see here the first one bracket 1 by 3 power minus 1 minus 1 by 4 power minus 1 to the power again minus 1 okay now let's start from here let's start this brackets first 1 by 3 power minus 1 we know we have to take reciprocal and we will get 3 power 1 3 power 1 is 3 no need to write that minus 1 by 4 power minus 1 is 4 power 1 which is 4 then to the whole power minus 1 to the whole power minus 1 3 minus 4 is minus 1 to the power minus 1 the answer is minus 1 by 1 so the final answer is minus 1 okay so if you take the reciprocal of minus 1 it is still going to be minus 1 by 1 and finally 1 by 1 can be written as minus 1 okay now let's look look at uh, the seventh one in the seventh one the question says simplify i have already told you whenever there is a term simplify remember two steps first is to open the bracket second is to bring the like terms together but here uh, we have to do uh, simplify using just exponents okay see here the first question is 25 into t to the power minus 4 divided by 5 power minus 3 into 10 into t power minus 8. see here we have a variable here we have a variable which is t so how to solve this okay remember whatever is in the denominator with power negative exponents take it to the numerator and whatever in the numerator is there with negative exponents bring it to the denominator so we will have 25 into this will go to the numerator becomes 10 power 8 3 uh, t power 8 this will become this also will go to the numerator this will become 5 power 3 divided by this will come to the denominator and become t power 4 and uh, this 10 is going to be going to stay here so if we solve we will get um, we get 25 
into e power 8 into 5 power 5 divided by t power 4 into 2 into 5. See, 10 can be written as 2 into 5. So, what, I, what will happen is, this 1 5 and this 5 power minus 5, we, we can solve using the identity which is x power a and x power b, we know what we have to do is x power a minus b. Okay, let me rub here. See, so finally we will get here. The power is 5 power 5. Here the power is 5 power 1. So the final answer is 5 power 5 minus 1, which is 5 power 4. So this will become 5 power 4. So 25 multiplied by t power 8 into 5 power 4. divided by t power 4 into 2. Now we have to solve it for the next we will we have to solve this t. So 25 into 5 power 2 is 25 into t power 8 2 into t power 4. Same identity we have to use here also. Here we will get t power 8 minus 4 which is t power 4. So 25 into 25 is 625 into t power 4. When we solve this 2 we will get t power 4 divided by 2. So the final answer is 625 into t power 4 divided by 2. Okay. Uh, remember this identity is and you will uh, get the answers very easily. Okay, students. So, uh, let me give you some homeworks. Okay, you have to do from twelve point one exercise. From the question number one, you have to do the first and second. And from question number 2, you have to do the second question. Then from question number 3, you have to do the fourth one. And from the fourth and uh, the fourth one, you uh, which is to evaluate, you have to do both first and second. And uh, from the sixth one, you have to do the second question. And from the seventh one, you have to do the second question. Okay. Now, let's start with standard form and usual form ok let us understand what is standard form and what is usual form ok usual form so when we are talking about usual form, see here if I go like this, this is usual form. Same thing can be expressed in a standard form using like this 7.6 into uh, 1, 2, 3, into 10 power 2 minus 3. So whenever we express the power in terms of 10 and whenever we uh, don't express it in this uh, standard in this uh, base form we call it usual form okay so many examples are like that see here 1.00793 sorry 0 0.00793 can be expressed as 7.93 into from here 
how many decimals will you move how many decimals will you move towards right 1 2 3 see here decimal is after seven now the decimal is here so how many decimal, how many position did you move 1 2 3 so 10 to the power minus 3 remember this one thing whenever you have to move decimals towards the right the power is always in minus is going to be negative whenever you have to move the decimals towards the right the power is going to be negative and whenever you have to move the decimal whenever you have to move the decimal towards the left the power is going to be positive okay so let's start with some uh, questions and uh, then you will get a clear idea of what it is. Okay, look at example 8. Example 8. Let me read out. Express the following number in standard form. Okay, express the following number in standard form. Uh, I'm sure you all are already familiar with the usual form because most of the answers uh, uh, we get in usual form. Then, if we wanted want to convert that into standard form, uh, then we have to do a little bit uh, adjustment. Okay. So here, see the first question is zero point zero 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 three five. Okay, this is our usual form. Now we have to convert this into standard form. So first thing is write 35. Okay, then put one decimal between 3 and 5. Then into 10, you have to do this much first. The next step is count how many positions have you have you moved towards right to reach here. See, now the decimal is here. How many positions did you move to reach here? 1, 2, 3. 4, 5. So 10 to the power minus 5. So, so the answer is 10 to the, uh, 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 5. So you just have to count how many decimals have you moved towards right to reach here. Initially the decimal was here. Now you have put the decimal here. So you have to count how many positions have you moved. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you have to you have to move you moved in five position towards right. So 10 to the power minus 5. And remember when you move towards right, when you move towards right, the power is always going to be minus negative exponent. Okay. Now look at the question number two. Which is 405. Zero 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 zero. Now we have to express this also in standard form. So remember, in the standard form, first write the number, then put one decimal after the first number, then into ten. You have to write this much first. Then you have to count. Now initially, when we write any number, let's say I wrote seventy. Remember. There is a decimal which is after 70. Even though I am not mentioning it, there is always a decimal after 70 which is like this. And then you can put any number of zeros. Okay. So here, here the number is 4050000. There is a decimal which is here. Now the decimal is here. But now the decimal is here. So how many positions have we moved from here to here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 10 to the power 6. Remember, towards the left positive. Towards the right negative. Okay. So we are moving from left to uh, right to left. That's why the power is in positive exponent. Okay. So the answer is 4.05 into 10 to the power 6.
Now similarly, uh, from exercise 12.2, let me do some questions. Uh, let's start from the first one, which is express the following number in standard form. Okay. The first one. is 0 0.0.123 0 0.1236789 so we have to convert this number into standard form so first thing is write the number which is 85 then put one decimal after 8 then into 10 this is your first step next count how many decimals you have moved towards 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 so the answer is because you are moving towards the right the power is negative and how many positions have you moved? 12 positions so the answer is 8.5 into 10 to the power minus 12 okay now let me do one more question which is fifth one from the first fifth one three one eight six one two three four five six to write this also in standard form. So first thing is write the number, then one, put one decimal after the first number, then into 10. Your first step is over. Next count how many? Now remember when, when you are given just a number, the decimal is always after the last digit. So here the decimal is here. Now the decimal is here. So how many position have you, have you moved towards left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, you are moved 10 positions towards left. Because we are moving towards left, then the exponent is going to be positive. If you move towards right, the exponent is going to be negative. Okay. Now, let us, uh, now let us do the uh, second question which is to express the following number in usual form. Let me do the third one, which is 3 into 10 power minus 8. Okay. First thing, write the number. Because the power is in negative, you have to understand initially the decimal was somewhere in the left and it has moved towards right that's why the power is in negative initially the decimal was somewhere here in the negative here in the left position here in the left side and because it has moved towards right the power is negative okay so the answer is going to be after 3 we need 1 2 3 4, 5, 6 and uh, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So decimal is. Okay, now just count and see the positions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, to move towards uh, left, okay, to move towards right, we have 8, uh, eight positions. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, so finally, if you write it in standard form, you will get 3.0 into 10 to the power minus 6. So our answer is 5 actually. Okay. Now this might be a little confusing for some students. Just uh, count the uh, decimals. How many decimals you are moving towards 
So what's left? Okay, um, total uh, just count the decimals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight positions after decimal. So our answer is five. Now let me uh, do one more question, sixth one, which is 3.61492 into 10 to the power 6. Because the power is in positive, because the power is in positive, you have to understand, you have to understand that decimal is going to move towards, decimal is going to move towards 5. Okay, this one is going to move towards 5. So this will become, it has to move 6 positions towards 5. So now in the decimal is here, 6 positions towards 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and one more will come which is 3 point, which is 3, 6, 1, 4, 9, 2 and 1, 0. Because we have to show 6 positions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, only 5 are there and to add one more position we will add 1, 0 here. So the final answer is 3, 6, 1, 4, 9, 2. Now look at uh, the question number 3. Express the number appearing in the following statement in standard form. So uh, 1 micron, let me do the first question which is 1 micron is equal to 1 by 1 micron is equal to 1 by 1 meter. Now we have to express this, we have to express this in standard form. So when we express this in standard form, remember 1 by this much can be expressed as 10 to the power. 10 to the power, how many power are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this can be expressed as 1 by 10 to the power 6, which can again be expressed as 1 into 10 to the power minus 6. Okay, now look at the third one, which is the size of a bacteria is 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5. Okay, remember, in the standard form, first we have to write the number, then we can put one decimal and 0 into 10 to the power. Just count how many positions have you moved till 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the answer is minus 7 because it is given in meter here also it will be meter so the final answer is 5.0 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter okay now one more thing let me explain the 12.2 uh, question number 2 sixth one again once again see there is one more method to do that the sixth one which is 3.61 4, 9, 2 into 10 to the power 6. See, we have to understand this in one more way. See, whenever, whenever we have decimal, we can convert that into fraction. This will become 3, 6, 1, 4, 9, 2 divided by, after decimal, how many positions are 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, that. So, 6 zeros will come. 1, 2, 3, sorry, 5 zeros will come. 4, 5. Okay into 10 to the power 6. 10 to the power 6 is 6, 0. After 10, 6, 0. Total 6, 0. Okay, now total 6, 0. See, here we have 6, 0. Here we have 5, 0. This 3, this 3 gone. This 2, this 2 gone. We are left with 10. So, 3, 6, 1, 4, 9, 2 into 10 is 3, 6, 1, 4, 9, 2, 0. We, this is how it is working. This is how it works. Okay, but uh, just for your uh, just for your understanding, remember it. Uh, just move the positions, and if uh, if there is not sufficient uh, position left, then just put one zero. That way also you can understand. Okay. Okay, students. See from exercise twelve point two. Uh, try 
from question number one try the second one third one fourth one okay and uh, fifth one also and from uh, question number two try the first one second one fourth one fifth one and from third one try the fourth one that's enough okay uh, students with this this chapter is over and uh, i hope uh, you are clear with everything and if you have any doubts please let me know thank you very much